and thanks for checking out today's Daily Flake. Well, the cold temperatures and wind and snowy weather we were expecting today didn't eventuate. Instead, we woke up to bright blue skies and plenty of sunshine. Backcountry gates have been closed for the last couple of days, so today was a good opportunity to hike into the back bowls or the peak, if you took the proper safety precautions, of course. For those who weren't feeling as adventurous, the groomed runs were in pristine condition. People may not realise that Nisiko offers plenty of terrain for those who are just learning to turn. There are a variety of ski schools in the area with highly qualified instructors who will help you find your snow feet and it's an excellent chance for the little ones to improve their skills and have some fun at the same time. Let's check around Japan thanks to snowinsurance.com.au and it looks like Harkova got the goods last night. There was 20 centimetres on the ground there this morning and it continued lightly during the day. Up at Alts conditions are looking very good. They had about 5 centimetres overnight and some light falls there today as well. And at Nazawa Onsen, it looks like they will see plenty of the white stuff falling over the weekend. Less than a week to enter our competition now, and there are some seriously good entries, so make sure you get creative and take a photo of yourself in ski or board gear in the weirdest place possible. Then head to our website to upload the photo and check out the terms and conditions. Okay, I have some exciting news for you too. Next week, the Daily Flake team will be heading down to Honshu, the main island, and touring around a few resorts, Alts, Appy, and Zhao Onsen. So make sure you keep watching because we'll be joining up with a few friends, telling you about the conditions and showing you around the places as well. I'm Christy in Nisiko for the Daily Flake.